stand firm in your freedom. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. As we mentioned earlier this week uh, in Paul's epistle to Galatians, Paul is emphasizing uh, to them and reminding them that they are free in Christ. There is liberty that we have in Christ. And uh, uh, we must uh, walk in the Spirit. Uh, we are not, when we walk in the Spirit, we are not subject. There is no law that we need to come under because we're living under the law of the Spirit or under the influence of the Holy Spirit. And in all of this, he says, you know, you need to maintain your liberty and don't uh, and walk in the freedom that with which Christ has set us free and don't entangle yourself again with the yoke of bondage. The bondage here, of course, is talking about the law and the, and the accompanying uh, rules that man has made out based on it, which they wanted to put on the people at that time, and which uh, in many cases happen again today. So as a believer, you need to maintain your freedom. You need to guard your freedom. Stand firm in your liberty. Now, many, many times, things happen within our churches, uh, within part of um, you know, uh, religious systems that we may be part of, where uh, the, uh, the churches are well, in, in a well-meaning way, may try to impose all kinds of rules and regulations on us. And we need to stand fast in the liberty with which Christ has set us free. Not to be entangled again with yoke of bondage, with things that come upon our lives too burdensome for us to bear and have no value for us. So stand fast, guard your liberty, enjoy your liberty that is in Christ Jesus. Walk in the freedom that Jesus Christ has given to us. Uh, protect your freedom. Now don't come under condemnation uh, if you, uh, uh, you know, you, when you don't submit yourself to some man-made rules. Of course, they may come hard against you. They may accuse you. Uh, they may call you rebellious and so on and so forth. But remember, you know, you've got to protect your freedom that you have in Christ Jesus. Walk in the liberty with which Christ has set us free. Let's pray. Father, we ask for your wisdom to know how to walk in the liberty with which Christ has set us free and not to come under any bondage, Lord, to man-made ideas and rules and religious systems and yet walk in a way that's honoring and respecting of people around us and of their understanding of things but yet, Lord, to maintain our freedom in Christ. Give us that wisdom and the grace to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.